Hey there, Chris Wheatley here from Hot Tub University, and today we're going to have a quick chat about spa parts. Um, you know, you, you, you've been hearing me say on uh, videos and everything that I don't endorse, um, you know, companies that are, you know, making specialty parts for their tubs. And, and it's a real simple concept, and it's a real big problem, and, and it's, it's quite easy to understand. So here's what happens. If we look at the hot tub industry, there are some phenomenal parts. If we look at uh, Balbo Electronic Control and Heating System, waterways, jets, and plumbing. These parts are proven. They work super well. Um, they're reliable and they're expensive, um, but, but they're great. In fact, they are the best. So when a company takes the, the, the road of making their own part and, and they'll, they'll play this off in the pitch as being, oh, you know, we want to really just make a superior product and blah, 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 we're going to build our own part. They're not. What they're really doing is two things. A, they're decreasing the cost price of the parts list on the hot tub. Simple as that. When they go and start to go to China and start using Rising Dragon jets, or they, you know, like Arctic built their own uh, jets, um, cheap jets that they sell to the market, they're cheap. Simple as that. So, did they increase the quality of the product of an Arctic spa instead of going to a waterways jet? Uh, no. What they did is they decreased the, pro the cost of building that hot tub. Now, did they lower the price for you, the, the end user, the consumer? Absolutely not. They played it off as if this was a plus, as if this was a better thing for you, the customer. But let's look at what they really did. So they took a jet that uh, uses a, stand, a ball bearing set in it. Now, by the way, everything in your whole wide world that rotates, that spins, uses that technology. It's reliable, it's efficient, it works well. Um, and what it is, it's a series of little balls that are in between two other rollers and, and they spin. And, and it shares all of the friction among a whole bunch of different points so we don't get concentrated friction points. It's very efficient, it works really, really well. Now their new technology was, was to replace that system. And, and, and again, everything in your world spins uses that. Your car wheels, your bicycle wheels, your, uh, God, everything. Everything you own, your, your fan in your bathroom, everything you own that spins, your, your Vitamix, whatever. The new technology, which was so superior that was going to change the game, was to replace that with a stick stuck through the middle of it. And the little thing wobbles on the stick. Now, the only thing I know of in my world that spins on a stick is my Hot Wheels car. And I don't know about you, but I never had a Hot Wheels car that would roll for longer than a boat. Of two bloody days till the wheels started getting... It's silly. So, why are these guys doing it? So, first of all, it's to reduce the cost of the product. So, they can produce this tub cheaper now because of these parts that they're putting in it. And again, they're not going to reduce the price to you, the end user, because they're going to, you know, the perception they're going to give you is that this is a better quality product that they're doing. What they've also done, though, is taken away your ability to shop that part competitively. So as soon as they go and they make a part special for their tub that only fits their tub, and Hot Springs does it, and Jacuzzi does it, and Arctic Spas does it, and um, Sundance does it, and the reason they did it was, again, to cut the cost of the product, but also now they own you. Anytime you need a part for that hot tub, you got to get it off them at whatever price they dictate because there's only one place you can get it. Now, I don't know about you, but it is never a good scenario when I want to buy something and there's only one person in the whole wide world that can supply it to me. It doesn't make sense. And again, it's not as good of a quality part. Nobody out there that's building their own little OEM parts list is building a better quality than the best stuff on the marketplace. So you really got to look at this. And I think it's critical. And it's one reason why none of those brands would ever be on my display floor. I would never sell those tubs because I would never put myself or my customers in a position um, where they've got that one little source. If they can get the part that's going to dictate the price and nobody's going to be able to compete with that. Whereas if I've got a good parts list, so I'm using a Balboa Waterways, I'm buying a tub that's got that good OEM parts list. My options are open as, as a retailer, loads of places I can buy that part. Your options are open as a, as, as a customer because if you don't like my price, you can go buy it online at a bunch of different places because it's a good standard OEM part. So, better quality part? Yes, you paid a little bit more up front, but not really because those guys that are making their own parts, they're charging tons of money. Those tubs are some of the most expensive tubs in the you know out there and artificially. They really shouldn't be. They should be a you know, low to mid-grade price. Um, so you're Paying more for an inferior quality product, having to replace it more often because it's an inferiority, uh, an inferior product, and being held to ransom for the price. So that's my problem with, with, with the guys that are doing these special little parts just for their hot tubs. 
Stick with a brand that's using an OEM parts list. It'll be one of the biggest and best decisions you make in your hot tub purchase. There's Chris Wheatley with my two cents worth on the parts. Have a great day.